Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this video, inshallah, I will respond to an ex-Muslim woman who goes by the name Infidel Noodle. Recently, Infidel Noodle uploaded a video responding to a Muslim TikToker who responded to one of her videos. Apparently, she was making an argument that Islam is a misogynist religion. And this guy wanted to refute her by showing some of the teaching of Islam which are in favor of women. Let's now go and listen to her response to this guy. You can't read Arabic. It states in the Quran that heaven lies beneath the feet of women. This guy really woke up and said, I'm going to embarrass the shit out of myself today. For the millionth time, the whole heaven lies under your mother's feet thing, it's not in the Quran. It comes from this hadith. Yes, it's not in the Quran, but does that make it any less Islamic? I mean, you yourself infidel frequently use hadith to attack islam you don't say well no i'm not going to use hadith i'm going only to use what is in the quran but i think i got what you wanted to do you wanted to use this mistake to humiliate the guy because he said you didn't know arabic so yeah that's a good idea he made a mistake there let me just you know take that mistake and focus on it he said it's in the quran it's not in the quran it's in the hadith ha 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 but even if you wanted to do that, at least respond to the points that the man made. But wait, let's be fair to Enfidel Noodles. I think she responded to one of his points. Let's watch. And it doesn't say heaven lies under women's feet. It says mothers. Not all women are mothers. I love how you're coming on this app trying to lecture me about Islam, trying to pretend you know what's in the Quran, and you don't even know this simple fact. Well, that's correct. It doesn't say women, it says mothers. And again, the guy should have been accurate here. My question is, whether it was women or mothers, how does that invalidate his argument? The hadith doesn't say women, it says mothers. But mothers are women. And the hadith teaches that paradise lies beneath the foot of a mother. And a man can never be a mother. It's only women who can be mothers. Not all of them, of course, but most of them. We can say that the majority of women eventually become mothers. Another point is, this hadith shows that every Muslim man will have to obey a woman, which is his mother. After obeying Allah Azzawajal and his messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there's one person in this life that has the supreme authority over Muslim men. And that person happened to be a woman, his mother, his father, his uncle, his elder brother, his grandfather, his boss. All of them come after the mother. Now let me show you the hypocrisy of people like you, infidel. You and other ex-Muslims always use the wife-beating verse to show how Islam oppresses women. Let's apply the same logic you used in your response just like not all women are mothers, not all women are wives either. So why you are you using this to show that Islam oppresses women? This is not about all women, it's only about wives. Of course I don't agree with your stupid interpretation of the verse. But for argument's sake, let's say that Islam allows beating wife severely. That doesn't mean that Islam is a misogynistic religion. Because not all women are wives. Sounds stupid, right? just like your response to the Muslim TikToker. Let's go to another example. It is much easier for us to read the Quran and recognize that there is something not right. For example, as women, the Quran explains that we are only to receive half the inheritance of what a man receives. Yeah, let's talk about the law of inheritance in Islam. That verse you showed is talking about a brother and a sister inheriting their father. Let's apply your logic not all women inheriting are sisters. Sometimes it's a wife inheriting her husband, or a mother inheriting her son, or a granddaughter inheriting her grandfather. And in every one of these cases, the law of inheritance changes. And in some cases, women get more than men. For example, take this scenario. In this case, the woman in the family gets more than the man. So why you are using the law applied to sister and a brother and make it general to all women? As women, the Quran explains that we are only to receive half the inheritance of what a man receives. Not all women who inherit are sisters, are they? 
That's all I wanted to show. I wanted to show your hypocrisy. You have a right to use hadith about wives or sisters to prove that Islam is misogynistic, but Muslims on the other hand don't have the right to use hadith which honors the mother as evidence that Islam is not misogynistic. And to everyone who's watching, thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.